Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rowlett and welcome back to a brand new video guys. I don't even know what to say guys. Thank you so much for the support on the first video earlier today guys. You guys hit 1,400 likes on that video. I asked for a thousand you guys really went overboard on it guys. Thank you so much. Honestly, thank you so much and as a promise for you guys going the extra mile with that video guys, I thought today I'd bring you something I find very interesting. So this was sent to me by a viewer, uh, Omer, uh, Omer, Omer uh, sent this to my way and he wanted me to cover this and just, you know, just kind of get into it. Um, because he was able to dissect a lot of stuff from the recent gameplays we've gotten. Uh, that, you know, maybe some people didn't notice that we, I haven't mentioned yet or that sort of stuff. And I thought it'd be worthwhile to go through in this video. So, a few of the early things, the first thing I might go through, you probably have heard about. But the rest of the stuff actually gets pretty interesting. And it's stuff we haven't really talked about yet or we haven't really mentioned. So, I thought you guys would have fun with this. Enjoy it. If you guys do enjoy, of course, drop a like down below, guys. Again, last video hit a thousand. I don't want to request that again because honestly, I feel like that would be me asking way too much from you guys. But seriously, if you just want to drop a general like down below, we really appreciate it, guys. Either way, let's get into the actual content of the video, guys, which is going to be this right here. So, first things first, guys, uh, we have something interesting here. So, Pokex put up to the photo of a train station, but it's not the one we saw in the official trailer. Notice all the leaves, leaves and carpet, while in the trailer, it's cleaner and no carpet. On a closer look of the carpet, you can see Pikachu, Charizard, Butterfree, Machamp, and Gengar. A coincidence? I think not. Implying that all these will have Gigantamax forms. It is already implied in so many trailers, but this one is very specific. So, you can see right here, he kind of, like, zoomed in on all these things. You can see, of course, Charizard right here next to us. <laughs> Bottom there is a Gengar, right at the bottom you guys can see it over there uh pikachu uh machamp and then of course in the bottom over there to the left like furthest to the left you guys can see a butterfree and also he's right about the actual uh ground being different uh they have actually improved the ground here of this station it's got like a bunch of leaves it looks a little bit more vibrant uh, in terms of coloring and like the gr color grading looks a lot better uh which i really appreciate now he says here, I made a close-up, a bit of a, a, a tilting to the Pokemon on the carpet, so it'll be more uh, clear that these are Pokemon. Between the chair there hides another drawing, so it's possible there's another Gigantamax Pokemon there. Which is interesting, he, he's right, there is actually like a little bit of a chair in the way right here, so you can't even see what the third one, like, you know, what the last one here could be. But there is probably more there, so we, we already established, based on what we saw in some of the previous images, um, that, you know, this could be, you know, us getting confirmation about this. So, um, yeah, either way, where are you guys? Let's continue. Here we are. So, next thing. Uh, even more info about gym leaders this time. So, number one. There's a gym leader named Raihan confirmed. So, we know from the la latest reports that the opening scene for Sword and Shield takes place at a cinematic scene of Chairman Rose in a stadium explaining about Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. So, when we saw it on the trailer revealing Chairman Rose. So, my name is Rose and it's a pleasure to be here. So, this is the introduction stream you'll get when you start Pokemon Sword and Shield. This is basically like the professor talking to you, right? Like, hello, my name is Professor Oak and welcome to the world of Pokemon. Here it's going to be like a television show where Rose is basically saying, my name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here, and he's gonna explain about the world of Pokemon, and then it's gonna jump over to a scene of, like, the battle here between, um, Leon and Raihan. So here's what happens, guys. They describe that the scene cuts to a battle between Leon and a, uh, and a man. They couldn't reveal his name, but in the latest Game Informed video, it says that this scene depicts a battle between Leon and another gym leader, who I can't mention, around 1801 into the video. You guys can actually open up right here, and I think we can go to it right at, like, I think he said 1801. Uh, so let's pause the music in the background and make sure we jump to 1801. Let's see, 18 right here. So it's about right about here. Starts with like a battle between uh, Leon, who's the Pokemon League champion, yeah. and another gym leader who I can't mention. Okay. There we go. So yeah, um, interesting to know. But we did uh, did see this scene in one of the trailers for the game. So you know I don't lose battles, Raihan, as the mention uh, the name is mentioned right there. So we got a bit of a confirmation of the name here, guys, which is interesting. Now there's more to come here, guys. So. So since the, uh, since the background is the same and perfectly fits the description, combining all the sources we have so far, it's, we could confirm that Raihan is actually a gym leader, which would be actually logical in my opinion. It would be really cool to know. Next thing, number two, Ryuku, Ryu, Ryuki, sorry, not Ryuku, Ryuki from Sun and Moon may very well be a dragon gym leader in the Galar region, which could be highly possible. A few pieces of evidence here. One, design-wise, he his outfit, uh, he outfits... Um, his outfit follows the same design ideas of the higher ranked trainers in the Galar region, including a very short pair of uh, pants, crazy design shoes, some kind of headpiece, <laughs> a hat, a bow, a mask, etc. A lot of details in the shirt and some resemblance to uh, to a ace, like uh, so it's ace Pokemon. Milo has a white shirt and a uh, and white hat that's just like Eldegoss's head. 
Nessa has the exact same hair color as Dreadnought's body and a bracelet shaped like its teeth. Ryuki's shirt looks like Turtonator, which is actually really true if you look at it. He's also designed to be about the same age as the other leaders. Notice how so far all of them uh, are young compared to the past regions. I put them together to show the resemblance. And he actually is right here. I mean, look at the actual designs here. Um, like straight up, they, they do have that going for them. Uh, and I can see how Ryuki might like show up and actually have himself like, you know, one of these, you know, um, like Galar League outfits instead. And all of them do have like these unique kind of like very specific points about them. And he does fit in here. Honestly, he does really like, I can see him in one of these Galar like trainer outfits really fitting well with them. Like I genuinely can't see that. And again, he didn't really serve a purpose in the previous games. You know what I mean? He didn't really do much there. So... It would make sense in the show ups. Also, Ryuki speaks in British slang. We know that a lot of British slang is introduced in Sword and Shield. And so people will call your character mate and your mom, uh, your mo uh, mother, uh, or in game mom, uh, mom. Uh, Ryuki refers to his Pokemon as his bandmates. My babies are uh, are dying to play a set. I figure what better stage than the champions. Allow me to introduce my bandmates. Come on, babies. Um, and Ryuki also states that he came across the sea to Alola. N the, na the name's Ryuki. I'm what you might call a star. I mean, with partners like uh, like my Pokemon, how could I not be a star? I came all across the, the sea here to Alola to challenge the Pokemon gym. And then says, but this uh, Cantonian gym here, this isn't a real, this isn't a real Pokemon gym. So this could be him implying here that this isn't how gyms are meant to look like. This this isn't a real gym. What is this? I know real gyms in Galar, you know? He's really the size and scale of the Galar gyms. No wonder he's disappointed. He also says, you're a star too. There's the only one thing two stars can do. Get the crowd fired up and bl with a blazing, with a blazing, rocking Pokemon battle. Really fits the vibe of Galar gym battles as a spectacle or a show for the crowd to enjoy. Now, Ryuki's whole outfit is red and yellow, just like Turtonator. However, his guitar case is gray and yellow and resembles a dragon's claw. This gray shade is found in Turtonator, but it's the exact same design color as the dragon on the gate to the big gray city in Galar, which is true. You can actually see that right there. Now, five. Almost all of his Pokemon team is confirmed to be in the Galar decks. He has Drampa, recently confirmed. Turtonator, recently confirmed. Dragonite and Komoo. The only, uh, wait, the only not confirmed yet is Garchomp. Now, we know that gym leaders usually have some secondary uh, practice slash hobby. The, uh, through the Affleck League, we know that Milo also has a herd of Wulu, which you need to help him with before taking on the gym challenge. And the official website states that Beya is a karate master, and Alistair loves hanging around cemeteries and ruins. Ryuki also has a known hobby. He's a musician and a singer, and talks about it in the game. Also, he looks very punk, like punk rock, which is very, like, British. You know, I've uh, already seen kind of a little bit of that, uh, you know, with some of the other, like, Pokemon designs. Now, Seven, Ryuki shows interest in becoming a gym leader. Once Alola gets a, this is a quote, by the way, from the game. So once Alola gets a real Pokemon gym, I give you my word, I'll become the dragon type leader. And I assume, oh wait, and I assume he insists to be called a leader. A whole uh, new ex unexplained character is, wait, which is number six, about eight, I'm curious, actually, that the, uh, another, a whole new uh, unexplained character is just a perfect Easter egg for Gen 8 or an, oh wait, on a Gen 7 game like Game Freak usually do, which is very true. Next thing, guys, <laughs> Moto Stoic Gym is fire type and the leader is Kabu. Now, the latest Game Informer video showing the Maya file for Moto Stoic City shows a clear view uh, of the carpet to the entrance of the gym, which right here you can see is shaped like some sort of like, you know, fire symbol, so to say, um, which... You know, we already like kind of talked about this in the past, as you guys may remember. We already talked a little bit about this, that it seems very logical. Now, though the symbol it's, uh, is it, wait, itself isn't super obvious, the, uh, the carpet uh, undoubtedly shows flames. And the Affleck League tells us that the leader, na leader name is Kabu. He's a fire type gym leader. So now we know that Kabu is fire type gym leader in Moto Stake City. So this means we possibly, uh, we, we have possible info about most of the gym leaders by now. Milo, Nessa, Beya, Alistair, Raihan, Kabu, uh, Opal, and Ryuki very possibly. Which would make a lot of sense. We might uh, we might have more than eight since I'm kind of sure there there will be more than one version exclusive gym. Uh, and the types are grass, water, fighting, ghost, question mark, question mark, uh, fire, fairy, and dragon. Uh, now through the map we can assume that there will be a gym in the Glimwood uh, Glimwood Tangle City, probably a fairy type one. Another one in the Snow City, which may either be ice or dark type according to the building color. So it's either it's, it's already bringing us uh, to more than eight gyms spread between the two games. Now I think there's going to be like there's going to be eight total gyms, but there's going to be several more exclusives most likely I feel like as well. Now Milo City is called Turfield. Now just a few frames I gather from different trailers, especially the Poke Jobs Japanese trailer. Now if we'll open this up right here. You can see up in the top corner here. I don't know if you guys can see this in video, but um, if we move this image somehow, if we make it a little bit smaller, if we can do that. No, we can't do that apparently, uh, which is unfortunate. If we just okay, let's just zoom out. 
And let's move the, uh, the camera down a little bit. Or actually move this frame down a bit. So see right there, guys. It says Turfield, Turfield or, uh, Orchards. Uh, right there. Turfield Orchards. Right in the top right there. See? Um, which could be, like, you know, reference to this area right here. So... This could be definitely the place. Now, the logo on Milo's shirt it, uh, is the logo of this of his sponsors, which is the same logo as the Turfield Orchards logo on the PokeJob screen. If you look carefully at the letters of the logo on Milo's shirt, they are the exact same letters on the side of the city in which Milo's grass type gym is located. Though we can't read the letters, we know their meaning. Turfield. Latest trailer shows the signs containing different letters in every town. Now. Number five, and also we can see right here more of these, you know, right there. Now, number five, every gym leader has a sponsor with a unique logo and is part of the Pokejobs, even Team Yell. Uh, now, examining the Pokejobs logos, we can spot them on the gym leader's outfits and in their respective stadiums. Every gym leader has a different single sponsor. Leon has tons, okay? And these are the same companies that you can send your Pokemon to work at. Interestingly enough, Team Yell is also sponsored by one of these companies. You can see right here actually what they're talking about. So if we zoom in a little bit. I scroll up here, we can see that they're sponsored by this kind of like, I mean, I don't know like what it's meant to look like. I guess, um, I can't remember the name of that Pokemon. You guys probably remind me in the comment section down below, but is that logo right below me here? Uh, you can see those, and you can see also that they exist here. It's some sort of like macro cosmos construction, apparently, uh, is maybe what they're doing. With, oh, no, sorry, nothing to blah, 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 whatever. It's the logo right there, so it could be connected to these guys. Uh, but then you see the, uh, the macro cosmos construction is also connected to Bea here. Uh, then you can also see the uh, the help wanted for the orchards thing, um, you know, from Milo. You can see right here as well, when Nessa's got like this little logo right here, we need some something help with. Um, and you see also like an XD looking logo, or like XX something, uh, which I'm not sure what that is connected to. Uh, but it's definitely like another like, you know, sponsor logo, some sort of thing like that. So yeah, so we know that Turfield Orchards are sponsored of uh, sponsors of Milo and Macros Cosmos Constructions are sponsors of Bea Nessa and has unknown uh, has an unknown sponsor. Though we can see the logo on the PokeJob screen, and Alistair has a sponsor which we can't recognize yet, but appears on this on his pants and stadium. Wait, is that still is, is Alistair a dude? I guess he is. I don't know. Between these logos also appear on the branding of some sort of the some of the clothing's on the boutiques. Now. So, uh, what do you think about this last email I sent you about Gigantamaxing? You'll obviously include that in the video. Just call me, uh, call me Omis. Okay, let me know what you think. Uh, yours, Omis. So, big thank you to you, mate. I do appreciate the, like, the freaking, the, the effort you put in here, mate. I appreciate it, man. Seriously, big thank you. I'm not sure if I, like, when I was having this up here, did you guys even see what I was showing? Um, as I was scrolling through it, I guess I'm gonna just bring it down. But yeah, so basically we're just looking at all these logos here. So yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is all for this video. That is all we had to go through. Uh, of course, you guys have probably already seen the the like the character's bedroom or whatever, where it actually shows, um, the, you know, in the character's bedroom, it shows like on the on the wall three posters: one with Charizard, one with uh, Machamp, and one with Gengar. Probably implying that Machamp and Gengar, and it's also on the on the floor, there's those as well. Implying that they will probably get Gigantamax forms. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of the video. Oh, Miss, thank you so much for these, uh, these like, you know, discoveries. My dude, thanks so much for sending them our way. I appreciate it, man. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, then drop a like down below. My name is Rolf Reality. I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Make sure to drop a like down below, guys. Of course, you know, be usual if you did enjoy. And subscribe. Peace out of yourselves, great one. And bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.